Good afternoon, everyone. Samantha here from Methodist College, Kuala Lumpur. Um, I am hosting the Future Ed series. I'm hosting the Future Ed series covering stepping into data science today. Now, joining me today is two very special people who um, not only one person comes from MCKL, the other person comes from SAS Institute. So the first speaker today is Mr. Ko Sui Keng. And he's the principal advisor that handles the education and the academic program from SES Institute Malaysia. Now, Mr. Kaur, Mr. Kaur is actually a graduate from Tunku Abdul Rahman College, majoring in information systems engineering. And he has been with SES since 2010, well, very long guys, and currently works with clients across industries such as telecommunications, FSI government agencies, airlines, higher education, and he also works with some international bodies, you know, such as Vietnam, uh, such as the country in Vietnam, um, on gathering training requirements. And he also ensures appropriate education services offered by SAS. Um, he not only not only does he do, does he do that, he also leads SAS academic program in Malaysia itself, and he provides consultancy to academia who wants to gain a net um, analytical skills build courses. He also creates degree programs and he grants certificates and networks uh, with more uh, with other SAS users uh, globally, I believe. And he was uh, recently appointed by the Malaysia Digital Economy Corporation, or you know, everyone knows it as MDEC, for Digital Expert Panel um, in Data Science in 2020, so it's like two years ago, um, to support nurturing digital workforce in data science. And the second speaker that we have today is not only, but our Mr. Keith Tan Jiabun, and he's a data science lecturer at Methodist College, Kuala Lumpur. Now, Mr. Keith um, holds a bachelor degree um, in, in field of software engineering, um, and he also possesses nearly seven years of full-time and part-time teaching experience in the computer science areas across tertiary education institutions, um, of course, including APIIT Education Group, Sunway Education Group, Taylor's Education Group, and now is serving as a full-time lecturer in MCKL, covering the computing department, um, while pursuing his postgrad degree in the field of data science from UM. So it's a very interesting uh, group of panelists that we have today. And let's start off the um, webinar session with Mr. Kaur, and we shall move on to Mr. Keith after that. So Mr. Kaur, passing my virtual mic to you. Thank you, uh, Sam. Let me uh, put up my slide first. Can everyone see my slide? Yes, we can. All right. Uh, hello to everyone. Uh, first, I want to thank MCKR for this speaking opportunity. As one of the industrial players on this field, it's our honor to share our perspective. My name is Kaur, like what being introduced by Sam. Uh, I'm from the education department within SAS Malaysia. Uh, to explain a bit more what is SAS education, we actually help organizations learn to use and adopt SAS, develop individuals to be future analysts, statisticians, and of course, data scientists. Before I go into the topic, let me uh, share a bit more who is SAS. SAS Institute began over 45 years ago with a group of professors from NC State University by asking a question, is there a better way to analyze data? Since then, we have offered a suite of innovative products that support data analytics. Our vision statement here at SAS is to provide us with our daily inspiration for what we do daily. We transform a world of data into a world of intelligence. If you are not familiar with SAS, here are some info about our global business. We have more than 85,000 customers worldwide over 140 countries and every year we invest 27 percent of our revenue back into R&D and then including Malaysia we have 14,000 employees worldwide. Okay uh, from this slide you can see that 94 of top 100 companies on the Fortune Global 500 are SaaS customer. SaaS is used by across many industries including banking, defense, security, government, education, retail, and manufacturing, just to name a few. 
The Fortune 500 are the 500 largest American company ranked by the revenue as compiled by the American business magazine called Fortune. What does it mean to students like you? All these are the potential employer for you in future. You may want to think, do you want to work in this kind of big company, Fortune 500? Technology is evolving and same to the field of data science, especially for the past five years. SAS was named as the leader by Gartner in Magic Quadrant in this field, and SAS is the only vendor named as the leader for all eight years since day one. Let me jump into the key topic that we want to share today. What is data science? Why is needed? And what about the career opportunity? Companies need talented people who can tame data and provide insight and recommend action. Data science continues to appear in the list of top jobs in technology. In a survey, Glassdoor recognized data scientists as a top job in America. Back in 2012, I'm not sure whether anyone heard about this quote by Harvard Business Review. It said that data scientist is the sexier job of the 21st century. After many years, Glassdoor still ranked data scientists as the best job in America. And it's clear that this is still a great time to join into this field to be data scientist. For students like you who are keen want to understand what is data science or scientist, let me tell you what is data science in a simple word. Data science encompasses preparing data for analysis, including cleansing, aggregating, and manipulating the data to perform advanced data analysis. Analytic application and data scientists can then review the result to uncover patterns and enable business leaders to draw informed insight. Then, what is data scientist? His background normally comes from applied mathematics, business, programming, economics, operational research, and also engineering. He knows a variety of programming language. I hope programming language is something not new to students like you anymore compared to my time. We never learned programming in my secondary school, but I know that now secondary school students also learn programming. This person also understands their data, see the overall shape of data and can draw insight from what they see. He has a right ability to communicate the finding to technical and non-technical audience. All right, how about the demand in the market? According to McKinsey, in the US alone, there will be a shortage of 250,000 data scientists and analysts by 2024. Let me move to let me move to local market. BDA or big data analytic market in Malaysia is set to grow from 1.1 billion US dollar in this year to 1.9 billion US dollar in 2025. Company investing in BDA will expand their presence with Malaysia as a regional base. In short, there is a big demand of big data analytic locally. This is another survey I came across uh, online done locally by SCMO and also SERI on August 2021. It said that a total of 74.5% of the respondents said that the gap between the entry level skill and advanced skill required for work to be done is too big. Big data analytics and digital marketing were the digital skill more sought after by employers, followed by artificial intelligence, AI, data science, cybersecurity, and also cloud computing. Again, it proved that there is a high demand for this talent within Malaysia. This is an industrial skill framework done by HRD Corp uh, together with an uh, industrial partner like SAS uh, back in, I think, two or three years ago. From this slide, you can see that there are four main job roles under the data professional, namely data scientist, data analyst, data engineer, and also data architect. With the proper education on data science, this is the potential career path a student like you can always refer to. How about the education pathway to pursue data science? In the past few slides, uh, we discussed about how in demand of talent in data science and the potential of the market. 
Now let's talk about how do company or employers find or develop talent in data science. Normally the employer will hire a graduate uh, with the right skill set, uh, provide in-house training, uh, online community, uh, etc. Certification courses also help professionals to assess advanced training information and knowledge on update technologies. For example, uh, last year, according to Coursera, an online uh, learning platform, it said that such certification, uh, 84% said that such certificates, such certification improved their performance and advanced in their career. Finally, I would like to present this education uh, pathway. If you are new to technical field, then as I mentioned earlier, programming will be the best place for you to start. You will need a bachelor degree in data science or computer related, whether it's computer science or IT, to get your foot into the door as an entry level in data science or data professional like data analyst or data engineer. The emphasis on analytical skills in many computer science programs make them, uh, make you guys, or if you consider you all in this field, uh, for expiring data analysts. This degree is also widely available, including uh, MCKL. So as I mentioned earlier, you may consider to obtain professional courses or certification after your undergraduate uh, degree to stand out from your peers. At the right hand side, you can see that uh, more potential job role in data science for fresh graduate. Uh, as you can see here, you can see junior analyst programmer, MIS analyst, data officer, data scientist. These are the job that uh, our customer, our partners always come to us when they have this opportunity. Thank you for your attention for the past uh, few minutes. And I hope you have learned a bit more on data science. And these are the key takeaway for you. So these are the uh, few points that I share to you. I, I hope uh, you learn a bit. That's all for my presentation. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Kaur. Well, I have a few questions um, for you lah, uh, relating to the presentation that you just uh, shared. So otherwise than having an, uh, sorry, an IT related degree, what are the kind of you know, other digital skills or certificates that will help uh, graduates stand out in the industry to land a job. Can you share a little bit like of the particular digital skills or sets um, that they would need? Uh, okay, as I mentioned, this field has been involved uh, since, uh, especially over the past uh, five years. Uh, in terms of technology, uh, there are many new technology or existing technology. So uh, for, let's say, undergraduate who just complete, whether it's a diploma or undergraduate program, uh, I would advise them to go into the one that I just shared just now, something like uh, Magic Quadrant to get to know what are the latest technology used by the industry. So if this person or this student or graduate would like to quickly uh, join a particular company, then she should always refer to what is the most popular uh, company in the world. So for example, if you know that uh, SaaS is widely used in this bank called, for example, CIMB, and you are very keen, you are very passionate to join this company, then you can consider uh, SaaS. So this is one example that uh, I wanted to share with a student who like to jump into data science field. All right, I have a question that just came in. Um, the attendee would like to know which company in Malaysia um, offers careers that uh, which uses uh, SaaS? Uh, okay, uh, if you still remember the uh, Fortune 500 uh, companies. Uh, this type of company are also uh, applicable in Malaysia. As I mentioned, uh, and I did say that bank, security, and also government. So I would say that in Malaysia, uh, most of the banking, they are uh, SaaS customer. I just named CIMB. So if you want to consider bank, I think you can see a lot of uh, opportunity within bank. And the other field that uh, you can also consider will be uh, telecommunication and government, especially now today, everyone talk about digital. Uh, government is also very into uh, this field. Yeah, so uh, just remember banking and then maybe telco and also manufacturing and also uh, government. What about airlines? Um, do 
uh, is, uh, is SAS um, working with any airlines also? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the very, uh, how should I say, uh, the only of Malaysia uh, airline is, is our customer since many, many years ago. Even no one was talking about big data or anything. Yeah, until today, they are still uh, our customer. But you know, due to this COVID-19, um, airline is not uh, doing so well. That's why I did not uh, mention this particular uh, sector. I understand. Thank you, Mr. Kong. Now, everyone, if you are watching right now, we are also live on Facebook. So um, if you have any questions on Facebook, do put your questions in the comment box below. Or if you're watching us on Zoom right now, uh, please add your, Q your questions in the Q&A box or the chat box. So I'll give you a few minutes to add that in. If there is no questions, then we will move on to the next speaker, which is Mr. Keith from MCKL. Hi, Mr. Kong, sorry. Um, there's another question that just came in for you. Which institution in Malaysia that offers SaaS training? Okay, as I mentioned, uh, me and my team uh, between SaaS Malaysia uh, Education Department, we provide a uh, SaaS training certification to our customer and also uh, whoever that want to pick up a uh, SaaS skill. And at the same time, uh, like our partnership with MCKL, uh, we we work with uh, colleges university to offer our curriculum to be taught by a uh, lecturer like uh, Mr. Keith. So for yourself uh, as a SPM leader or a level leader, you can consider to get uh, some immediate uh, skill set uh, to be taught by college like uh, MCKL. All right. Okay, thank you so much, Mr. Kaw. Now everyone, we shall move uh, to the next speaker, which is Mr. Keith Tan Jiabun. He is the data science lecturer at MCKL. And uh, Mr. Keith, I'm passing my virtual mic to you. All right. Thank you very much, Samantha, and also Mr. Cole for a very insightful sharing. That from uh, Mr. Cole's sharing, we know that uh, data science is a very future proof, anchor proof causes that we can go for. And here, I would like to share how you can start your data science journey with uh, MCKL. All right, so as a very short introduction about MCKL. So MCKL actually was a Metabase afternoon school, Kuala Lumpur in 1929, and has been renamed to Metabase High School in 1974. Only then in 1984, we were renamed to Metabase College, Kuala Lumpur, which is MCKL for now, and the new diploma program in computer science, which is data science focus, the IT, e-commerce, and digital marketing, were newly launched only in this year. And also, we are also launching our college in Penang, which is our packet campus, and we are welcoming students next year as well. So why do we actually uh, have this vision to launch uh, programs like computer science, which is data science focus, IT, e-commerce, and digital marketing? Because that is our strategic plan for 2020 to 2025, which despite uh, our MCKL key trucks. So we believe in number one, which, uh, which is a uh, future education. So why do we say future education? Because nowadays we educate the students for jobs that is not even exist now. We do not know what's going to exist in the future, but we will make sure the students are well equipped with their skill set and knowledge so that they will prepare for the job in the future. So that's what we call future education. So to excel in future education, that is where we go to number two, you have to have the spirit to go for lifelong learning, which here we are talking about IR 4.0, where you have to have creativity, communication, collaborations, and critical thinking skills. So with this, we go to number three, because of IR 4.0, we have transformed our teaching and learning, where the students, teacher, and the community, they all learn from each other to learn about how we can go online and also in offline life as well. So with this transformation, we have number four, digital support services throughout the uh, MCKL students and staff. So we make sure that we have enough uh, support services to actually get this transformation successful. And lastly, we have our MCKL DNA, where MCKL students, besides knowledge and skill set, we also make sure everyone goes through formation 
Okay, uh, which include a character formation and also service learning program throughout the period of studies. So because of this uh, five MCKLK trust, that's why we have a new program in our diploma in computer science, IT, e-commerce, and digital marketing. So the programs include uh, in pre university will be LOS and POSMAT. A uh, degree we have ADTP, which is the American Degree Transfer Program. Of course, for, for professional program, we have for diploma program, we have for ECE, which is early travel education and social work. And we do also have a ACCA in MCKL if you're interested to pursue one of these programs. So, of course, we have our own diploma program for now, which is computer science, which is a data science focus. Our uh, information technology, this one we focus on uh, IoT, which is Internet of Things. We have e commerce, or we call it as the digital business digital marketing, and we have also a newly launched program coming up next year, which is FinTech, Financial Technology, which teaches about finance and technology related to finance. So as for today, we are going to focus on a diploma in computer science, because just now when Mr. Ko shared about um, data science, that's, so that's why we are introducing you this data science focus diploma, so in this diploma, we have our IT general subjects and courses, and of course, the courses related to data science, which include, okay, but not limited to the parameter of data science. We have uh, data mining, we have data processing and visualization, uh, machine learning, cloud computing for big data analytics and big data architecture. So as you can see, these are all the wow words that, have, that you have been hearing all the times in data science. So after you have completed your diploma with us for two years, we'll be sending you for the 12-week uh, industrial training. Uh, the following will be some of the companies that we have already uh, signed the MOU with after you have completed the diploma with, uh, uh, with a satisfactory, satisfactory results and the company is willing to accept you as their intern. So it's including the Agilence, uh, key size technology, FusionX, uh, IVT group of companies, and of course, many more they are coming up in, uh, in the future. All right, so we make sure that you have a place for your industrial training after you have completed two years of your study with us. So after you have also completed your study, you will, gain, you will get to build a portfolio by having the following four methods. Number one will be your SAS certificate all right so as mr Cole have mentioned as you can see 90 94 out of the 100 fortune 500 company is using the sas system so with your sas certificate you can definitely uh, be a better candidate than than the others okay which so the certificate will look Something like this, okay, which is a collaboration with uh, between SS but also MCKL, and you will be awarded SS Academic Specialization in Data Science and Machine Learning. So this certificate is already inclusive in your diploma program. So you are going to pay nothing extra to get this certificate. So like oh, we have one question just now, right? Like uh, what which, uh, institution is offering certificates for SS? Yes, we do have this uh, certification for free of charge, which is already included in your syllabus. All right. So if that is not enough, we have also our AWS Academy, but this is uh, optional for the students to sit for the task and the students have to pay for the fees if they would like to sit for this AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner uh, Certification, okay? And it is optional. We do have cloud computing course but we do not enforce or we do not uh, make it compulsory for the students to sit for. The students have the option to take it or not to take it. All right. So, of course, we have number three, our ICDL courses. And lastly, capstone project. So, what is a capstone project? Custom project uh, normally is a final year project where you have learned every concept in data science and you are going to finally build a project with all the knowledge and all the skill sets you have already learned throughout the two years. And that's where you have your project to showcase to your, your future employers that to demonstrate that you have mastered the skill sets. 
Okay, so with this form, we are going to help you to build a portfolio and to stand out from among the other uh, candidates. All right, so some of you may be concerned about your progression onto your bachelor degree. So here in MCK as well, we have signed up MOU with uh, three of the university. Uh, number one will be University of uh, South Australia, UniSA. So if you are interested, interested, you can progress into UniSA for the Bachelor of IT. And within only one year of time, you can already get your bachelor degree. Okay, you'll be awarded with bachelor degree in one year time only if you go to UniSA for the Bachelor of IT. If you would like to go for the Bachelor of Mathematics, which is a data science focus, then there'll be 1.5 years. And finally, their software engineering course will be two years. Okay, so the second choice will be Deakin University, also in Australia. There will be a Bachelor of Computer Science to be completed in two years' time. And lastly, the university in UK, Shepherd Hella University, they have a Computer Science and Software Engineering courses, which also will be completed in two years' time. All right, and I believe that that is all for my sharing. If you are interested or if you have any questions, you can leave in the QA. Okay. Uh, Thank you. Thank you so much, everyone. Okay, Mr. Gay. Thank you so much for sharing. Um, I have a few questions for you. So yeah, sure. what can students expect when they pursue a diploma in, you know, uh, in IT or data science at MCKL? All right. So what the students can expect in a, a diploma in IT or diploma in a computer science? So basically, diploma in computer science here is a data science focus. And as the syllabus is uh, newly developed, okay, uh, just in this year, so you can expect the syllabus to be uh, having the latest technology. And also, it's also a, a better syllabus if you want to go for data science as compared to other uh, colleges, which the syllabus was developed maybe a long time ago. And they, they, they don't really focus much on data science, but if you want to go for IT here, it will be IoT focus. If you want to go for the IoT focus diploma, then MCKL is where you can uh, consider. Thank you so much. Okay, second question is, what are the crucial subjects for students, especially high school, school students to have um, in high school when they pursue an education in IT or computer science? Do you have like a particular uh, kind of subject that they need to get like a credit or a C and above for? Um, kindly explain. All right, sure. So if you are interested in any of the IT courses, make sure you are study your mathematics very well. So you need to have credit, at least credit for mathematics. And of course, if you are sitting for SPM, you need to make sure that you pass your SPM. If you're sitting for other SSM, you need to make sure you pass as well. But a credit in mathematics is very crucial and is compulsory. Okay, so if the student gets... um. C and above for maths, but at maths is, uh, you know, some of them, they don't like at maths, so they get a D, that's fine, right? They can still do the diploma in IT or computer science, right? Yeah, I think it very much <laughs> depends on the college whether they want to accept. But I think if you can get a, you can get a Mac, credit in Mac, I think at Mac should be just a little bit more equipped for that. I think you should get a credit as well. Yeah. Okay, okay, thank you. Now, in right. terms of like uh, the degree programs uh, with our partner universities, Let's say a student um, who has a diploma in IT or computer science with MCKL um, and they want to go to a different type of university that offers like an IT program to do a degree. Um, do they have to do like um, a three-year program or is our um, syllabus recognized enough for them to actually do credit exemption in the degree? All right. So uh, besides the three partner university with our diploma in IT or diploma in computer science, you can definitely go to others of uh, private university in Malaysia or other countries where the standard, uh, standard period of time will be two years as well. Yeah, so our program is totally recognized and is allow I mean, allowing you to go for other local uh, private university to progress your bachelor degree. I see. Okay, great. Question coming from the audience. Um, is it okay to have no programming skills, but you want to learn data science? Okay, so this is a very good question. Okay, so if you have no programming skill, that is totally fine because we have 
many case study that comes from a business a business person to be an IT person. We have also like uh, people without IT skill, they can also uh, accept in data science because uh, in data science, if you would like to learn programming, we do also have that in our syllabus, which will make sure you have a very good fundamental in programming. And then we will progress you further to the data science uh, courses. So there's no worries on that. Okay, great. Thank you, Mr. Keith. Now, everyone, um, just to let you know that MCKL is actually having an open day tomorrow and also on Saturday. So, Mr. Yap uh, and also Mr. Keith, they will actually be here during this weekend to, uh, you know, to answer any questions if you're interested in our diploma um, in IT and uh, computer science programs. So, if you're free, uh, the open day is actually from uh, 9 to 5. Uh, on Friday and Saturday. So if you're planning to drop by, just um, you can either walk in or you can actually just call us and we will set an appointment for you to speak to everyone. Um, and also, uh, let me just share. Oh, there's actually another question. Sorry, sorry. Um, okay, so I believe this question is for Mr. Kaur. Um, Is there any option to pursue a professional certification on SAS only? Yeah, yeah, they can, they can always come to us. Okay, so um, Mr. Kaur, um, is there any way for them to contact you guys? Um, perhaps sharing uh, the contact information in the chat, then let the audience contact you guys uh, directly. Lah. Okay, I will leave uh, our email address to the chat later. Yes, can. Uh, but, but what I want to add in here is, uh, uh, okay. Uh, you know, like what being explained by uh, Keith, uh, we prefer to have uh, the right candidate. For example, you need to have a credit or a distinction in mathematics, things like that. So we don't simply take uh, anyone who wants to do our certification program. So um, basically, like for SPM students, they of course, they will need to pass their BM and Sejarah to get their certificate. And then on top of that, they will also still need to get at least a credit in English and mathematics. Lah to be able to join the program. Okay, okay. Um, also for those um, who are currently in the industry and would like like a certification in data science or computer science, um, as well as IT, we also have micro-credential programs offered. So you don't actually have to take the whole diploma. You can actually choose specific subjects um, that is offered for that particular intake. And you can just cover that particular subject and get a certification for that as individ individually as well. So that would be really good for those who are actually working in the industry and want to get um, extra you know, certifications uh, to build up their portfolio. Okay, let me see. Yes, so everyone, if you're interested about uh, SAS, um, you can check the chat box below and there's some information that's shared by the panelists. Yes, okay, oops, let me see. Okay, Mr. Kaur will reshare some information in the chat. Um, Ms. Kaur have to make sure that the uh, it's shared to the to everyone, not to hosts and panelists. <laughs> yeah. Great. Yes. Thank you so much, Mr. Kaur. <laughs> now, everyone, uh, everyone, if you are uh, free, do drop by tomorrow, and I thank you all for joining us today and uh, joining. Yeah, joining not only me but the. Two handsome speakers here today, and I wish you all a good weekend. Stay safe. Um, I believe Daniel or Cindy, uh, my colleagues, will be actually be sharing some feedback information in the chat box. So uh, stay tuned for a few minutes just to give us any feedback on the information or the presentations that were shared by our panelists today. Um, if you have any other questions, you can just always add your questions in. Um, and we still have a bit more time. Mr. Keith and Mr. Call will actually answer them accordingly. So next up for next week, we will be have we will be covering cybersecurity, which will be very interesting. Um, so if what you you just I think you just have to wait for uh, MCKL to upload the uh, RSVP for the Zoom webinar link to the next session next month. Uh, and yeah, and probably you can give us some feedback on today's session. Take your phone with you since you're already watching us on Zoom. Just take your phone, scan the QR code, and uh, provide us feedback. Now, if you have any other questions, you can ask now, the, few, the very last few minutes. If you don't, then I thank you all and I'll I wish you all a good weekend and stay safe. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Mr. Keith. Thank you, Mr. Kaur. Take care. Bye-bye. Right,
Have a good weekend.